Do you guys remember about two weeks ago, we made Buddha Jjigae, and I called it the greatest Korean dish ever made? Oh, yes. I lied. Did I lie? Oh, okay, I didn't lie. You didn't lie. But I forgot something else. Besides Buddha Jjigae, there is an excellent contender. A very excellent contender. Probably my favorite food of all time, mm -hmm. fried chicken. But not just fried chicken, we're doing it Genie's Heritage style. You're all, okay. From the future on, I feel like all these videos are you're just gonna be like, this is Genie's heritage. And it's quite easy. It's quite difficult to make, so we'll yeah, see it's how. It's quite difficult to make! <laughs> this is the onion from the last episode of our cooking show. And we're just gonna take this onion, and then you just wanna. Thick slices as well. Do some thick slices of onion. Are you ready to cry? <laughs> to your onions, you wanna add milk. Take your chicken and just kind of submerge it in the milk. Just kind of dunk them in there. It's gonna tenderize and what Genie calls scientifically recognized as de-gamifying your chicken. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> then we'll just put this in the fridge. No, you just leave it on the counter. And you leave it for 15 to 20 minutes. While that's marinating, you wanna get yourself a rack, any rack. Don't look at my rack, it's really nasty. Did you reveal your rack, sir? <laughs> no, don't my look master? at my rack. Ah, don't oh look. my gosh, what the? What in the world is that? I do very interesting things in my kitchen. This cover is so shiny. And then, once your chicken has been de gamified, with the flavor of the onions and tenderized through the power of milk. You want to extract your chicken from the mixture. Kind of rinse it all off, right? And then you want to dry it with a paper towel and then just put it on a rack. We are now going to douse it with some salt. Just like that. Jean, do you know why we do this? It's to extract. Oh! That one got destroyed, you see that one? <laughs> this salt is gonna draw out the moisture, which is gonna allow it to become more dry. And when skin is dry, do you know what happens when it gets heated up? Extra crispy. It gets extra crispy. And that's what fried chicken's all about. It's the Guys, we screwed up. We forgot something really, really, really important. Radishes. Genie, yes. you, you can't eat Korean fried chicken without Korean pickled radishes. And the how side dish. could I forget the number one, sorry guys, the number one side dish for fried chicken? Mm -hmm. Radishes, Genie. Ra we're going out. Go, go, go. Mission collect radish. <laughs> we're not even gonna lock the door. Oh, shit. oh my god, you have to see this. Genie, why? Holy god, these are huge. We got the radish! We're going to use our Hello Kitty peeler. Do we have another peeler, by the way? Wait, we have a Hello Kitty peeler. Yeah, that's what I was like, we have a Hello Kitty Well, Hello Kitty peeler. Ooh. Yeah? That's sharp. I'm putting like no effort into this. It just works, Junie. Yeah, I think I did my job. Yeah. Dude, that smells good. That smells really good. Ah. <laughs> I think the radish won. <laughs> Once you're done cubing up your radishes, find a jar. In there. In here? Yeah, behind the, the panda cups. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> sure, what's wrong with the jar? Well, I don't know. Seems seems like a fit. <laughs> seems like a fit. So we have white vinegar here. I'm just gonna pour it all in. What would you mean? You're not gonna measure that out? <laughs> that looks good. You know how much water you're gonna have to do? Oh yeah. My family used to use that to tenderize their feet. Did you ever used to do that? Water? Yeah. No. 
It used to be so gross. It still triggers me to this day when I smell white vinegar. Half cup of this. Are you sure? One, one, one. Yeah. Dang. That's right. <laughs> you just like half it just went into the bowl. Okay, that's good. Then I don't need to do this full half. <laughs> I feel like I feel like an explosion is about to happen. We're good. <laughs> oh, scary. Ooh, la, la. Ooh. Give it one little whiff, one swirl. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be tight enough. <laughs> we cap this off and leave it in the fridge for one hour to marinate. Mm. Now that our chicken is chilled and the water, the moisture has been drawn to the skin. All right, take a towel and then kind of just dry it out, right? Push on it hard. You want to get the skin as dry as humanly possible. In fact, you might even want to bring out your blow dryer and make sure it gets really, really dry. And here we have some frying mix. This is flour, cornstarch, corn flour, and baking powder, and sodium bicarbonate. And onion powder and black. This is <laughs> what is this, Judy? It's what Where'd you, you get use this? For my mom. Jeannie's mom gave us this. You can get it at a Korean grocery. So yeah. this is flour along with seasonings. Mm -hmm. So you don't. So we didn't actually have to go out and buy our own seasonings. Mm -hmm. And then you just want to put in, you know, about equal parts of this frying mix. We also need potato powder made out of ground up Jeannie's. Oh, yes. I was like. Kind of just mix that flour up. You can use your hand if it's not wet. Oh, your hand is wet. Okay, take your pan, put it on a stove, super boil. And then here we have some Kore premium canola oil. <laughs> what is this angle that it juts out? Go squeeze it again, squeeze it. <laughs> it's a 90 degree down. What is this? Coat our chicken in this breading that we made. Is this breading? Is this flour? Oh, I'm sorry, flour. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna sacrifice Jeannie and her arm. Would you, do you want to put on uh, an oven mitt before you do this? Oh, you have a tool. Watch out. Whoa, whoa, whoa don't. Gee, what is we got that? an Asian chopstick <laughs> so we don't burn our fingers. Alright, so it's been about 10 minutes. Turn off the heat and then just carefully drag your chicken out of that oil and onto some paper towels. And there you have it, guys. Korean fried chicken. We're done. Wow! I'm just kidding. This is actually the first fry. We're actually gonna double fry it, Jeannie. Oh! That's gonna ensure the crispiest skin possible. So we're cutting up garlic for the sauces that we're gonna be making for our fried chicken later. We have three sauces. The first sauce is spicy kochujang. Woo! <laughs> to make the first sauce, we add one to one parts of minced garlic and ketchup. Authentic Korean ketchup for mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. We gotta be family friendly now, guys. It smells different. Can I taste it? Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, no, that's good. I like it. And then we add a bit of the famous kochugaru, bits of kikoman soy sauce, hot pepper paste, kochujang. It's poison at this point. Jin, we're gonna die. We're not gonna die. Jin didn't put it in the fridge <laughs> since since we made I the Buddha Jige. I'm a stupid idiot, so I forgot you had to put it in the fridge. Guys, if we die, you know what happened. I killed us all! sugar. Die! One half spoon of corn syrup. Why is it that you guys use corn syrup? I don't know. So we only want a half spoon of this. One spoon of water. Oh, yes! So on high. And keep mixing it in this stuff. Whoa. Whoa, it's really 
spicy. All right, guys, for the second sauce, we have the classic soy garlic sauce, which is basically the same thing as the first, but without the gochujang and the red pepper powder. So we're gonna start out with a bit of soy sauce, right? Two full spoons. Half a spoon of uh, corn syrup. Ooh, look at that. It looks like a, looks like there's an eel, like an invisible eel inside of it. There's an invisible eel inside of every man. And then, that's it. As its name implies. And then as its name implies, we're gonna add one entire spoonful of garlic. Two spoonfuls of garlic. What's the rest of it yet? Look at that. Ooh. It's not soy sauce of garlic in it. It's garlic with a little bit of soy sauce. And then we're just gonna heat that up a little bit. Genie forgot, we also need water. So we're gonna pour half of it into this bowl. Only half, because we're gonna use the final half for our final sauce. For our final sauce, we just use the second sauce, but add Parmesan cheese to it. Crap! Parmesan cheese! <laughs> I think this is spoiled. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. It's fine. I think we should add some more garlic to it, though, because it is it is very dry. The cheese is just gonna... <laughs> really? Let's add more garlic to this genie No, sauce. there's enough garlic in here. So oh. you, you know what the sauce looks like it's missing? What? Some garlic, Genie. Ready for the Parmesan, Genie? For the tasty. <laughs> so we just drop this entire ball in there. And it's kind of. Why does it look like all of our sauces are just pure garlic? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that smells like cheese. It smells good. I mean, it looks like doo doo, but man, does it not smell like doo doo. <laughs> it does look like doo doo. <laughs> oh, oh, Parmesan, garlic, soy sauce, Genie. We have Where our has this sauce sauces. been all my life? <coughs> all right, put your chicken in for the final fry. Look at that golden brown skin. All right, guys, three minutes later, and our chicken looks pretty well fried. Mm. We're just gonna take it out. While it's still hot, you wanna mix it in soy sauce. Mix it in this sauce. And then we have the spicy sauce. You can smell the ketchup, ketchup in this one. <laughs> <laughs> then finally we have the Parmesan. This <laughs> is just, just straight, straight garlic. We're gonna add some soy sauce because this one is basically just like pure garlic. Alright, Genie, we've worked long and hard for this chicken. Yes! Oh, wait! What? The radish! Oh! Ah! Literally eat it from the bowl. No, no, we gotta dish it up, Jeans. Alright. Radish. <laughs> it's revolutionary. This has to be good, Genie. This Genie? chicken's been in oil for like 13 whole minutes. There's no way this, is, this can be bad. This will be very good. Is this like as good as uh, 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 the best restaurants in LA? Probably not. No. Is it better than KFC at least? I goddamn hope so. I pray so. <laughs> soy garlic. Soy garlic. This is the most basic. It's just soy sauce and garlic. Jean, ready? Ready. Oh, you got a great piece. Cheers. You don't taste the garlic as much. That's because we didn't get enough sauce on it. Dipped in the I bowl. have to say the meat's really juicy and well done. Like this meat is what you would not get from KFC. All right, Jeannie, ready for the radish? Ready. We've never done this before either. I don't know if this is well. I'll oh, shoot. Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> What is that like really strong flavor in there? Vinegar. Oh god. <laughs> it's so crisp because it's so fresh right now. Mm-hmm. You know, have you ever tasted radish like that crisp before? No. Next we're gonna do the gochujang. The spicy mm. sauce. Cheers. Mm. I like this one. 
Mm. Makes me happy. I'm very happy because I'm getting the Korean flavors, actually, right? This is what makes Korean fried chicken better than American fried chicken, mm. is the sauces. And finally, we have the Parmesan. I don't know if I've ever had Parmesan fried chicken before. I don't think I have either. I mean, so these pieces just, they literally just have spoonfuls of garlic on top. Mmm. That's the one right there, Jeannie. The chunks of cheese. Okay, that's got to be the best sauce. Oh, I know, yeah? I know you like the gochujang. I like the gochujang, personally. I have a weakness for garlic and parmesan. You do? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's why I like uh, Olive Garden. Mm. Okay, well, that was uh, Korean fried chicken. Mm. With side dish of radish. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to destroy this chicken now. Mm. Peace.